Van, még akkor bar- bar- barom, barom trauma előtt lehet egy kis izé. Mondjuk ez jó elhúzódott, nem számoltam ezzel. Kis vide- videnyózás. Vannak itt, amiket küldhetek még mindig. Nekem tudja már mi volt, és mi nem. Volt, volt. Szekvész. Uff, ennyit pittejni, geci! <gül> Nyugi. Channel switched. Erre mi van még itt? Ez mi a tököm? 21 perc. Másfészre and colors. You can literally make it look whatever way you want. You can go all out there making it pissing. That doesn't mean you should, but you can. And frankly, that's the point. On top of all that, the GX Corner keeps me up to date with the latest gaming news, deals, and releases all in one place. And finally, exclusive for my subscribers, when you download the GX, you my link. I too mix up fettuccine and linguine. Want to meet a Quiznos? 
And how many collective hours have we all wasted talking to Victoria only to find out it's Big Nesh? A relatable tragedy. In my opinion, you should have been tipped off when she asked, how does your bobs look from a 45 degree angle in open sunlight? But we've all been there, so I'm not gonna judge. And that's exactly why you've gotta turn to the strategy that really works. That's right. In this loveless age, the dating show is still the best possible approach to finding your forever sweetheart. Which one is right for you? All this and more on this edition of the John Tron Dating Show, Dating Show. And if you, didn't, if you don't think that's a good name, I don't wanna hear it. So yeah, today I thought we'd have a little fun and watch some of the most out there dating shows that I've been watching and enjoying recently. I've never actually understood the type of person to volunteer themselves for something like this, and I'd like to see the stats of if there's been even like a single lasting relationship to come out of one of these exhibitions. But I digress. On to our first contestant. And a lot of people are going to cut classes. Wait, 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 wait. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. So basically, if you've never seen the show, the people behind the button said, what if Tinder wasn't just an app you used privately on your own off time, but rather an immediate situation taking place in front of your own face so you can more directly feel the shame of rejection and more importantly, not hide the shame from millions of onlookers as you cry out for help internally. So yes, you heard me right. In this show, they basically set up two people face to face and as soon as the button there in the middle turns red, one of them can hit it to just reject the other. What can, what can I say? It's a, real, it's a real dating show with a Tinder overlay. The worst of both worlds. And I, I can't wait to watch. So let's enjoy. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm Seth. I'm Alex. Okay, we got our first two beauties here. Let's see how it turns out. What do you do for work? Uh, mechanical engineer. Okay, my sister's a civil engineer. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, that's uh, okay. <laughs> not bad. Let's hope yet. Let's, let's keep going. Are you really good at math? No, no. <laughs> how do you be a mechanical engineer and not be good at math? That's like the thing. I mean, what is this hieroglyphic shit? It's all Greek to me. I don't, I'm not talking about Pythagoras. Just let me give her three compliments. Three compliments. Uh, I literally just said I wasn't good at math, but uh, I love your hair. Thanks. And your glasses. Thanks. And uh, yeah, I like how you're matching. You got the purple, the blue. <laughs> Thank you. Looks like uh, you just got back from the uh, when you were young festival. <laughs> How's he saying? Sorry, man, you didn't stick the landing. You're getting that. She's reaching out already. You're getting that. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I suck. I'm Alex. How you doing, Alex? Nice to meet you. Oh my god. <laughs> just waltz in straight up with that energy. Boom. Hey. That's how we do back in the neighborhood. How you doing, Alex? I'm just a fan of the button. I'm just a big fan. Why are you a fan of the button, though? So you jealous, Ken? I mean, I ain't really the jealous type. Like, I don't be in my feelings like that. I know what I'm worth and what I'm fighting. No offense. Yeah, you're Sorry. good. You're fine. I mean, I know what I'm worth, but I'm gonna uh, be needing back that secret voice club handshake. Yeah, no, you don't tell me you thought that was free. This girl's a bit picky, though, isn't she? I mean, she's just nuking people left and right. Who is gonna be your type? Nice That's to meet you. My name is Bonko. Oh my god. Bonko? <laughs> Whose type is he? That's the real question. This is a confident man. This is a man who knows what he wants. This is a man who knows who he is. This is a man who's decided on his own that pants are basically obsolete. Okay? I I'm loving it. Maybe this will be your pick. What do you do? Um, I work in board game development. Bonko, do you play board games? Actually, I do. Yeah? What board games do you like to play? It's like a Bulgarian ones. What's the name of the game? Shushka. But that's not all. There's many other classics, such as Art O' Man, uh, Who Can First Black Out on the Schlitterwitze, and of course, this one needs no introduction. Everyone's favorite, Don't Wake Can Croom. Great game. You will notice the lack of player pieces. It is because they have all woken the Khan and are now deceased. Oh, no. Oh, okay, very cool. In Bulgarian, yeah. Yeah, very cool. Are you from Bulgaria? No, I'm just the fourth animaniac. Yakko, Wacko, Dot, and Banko. Yeah, of course I'm Bulgarian! What do you think? I know you're not English, because you ain't no Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, I'm from Bulgaria. Okay. Just for your reference, in Bulgarian, that's oh. goodbye. Hey, it can be a tough language, but you'll pick up on it. It was bad, man. You bring him up, though, or not? Difficult high watermark to reach, but next up we have Sequoia and Rosie. Hey, nice love the color combo. Thank you. I like yours as well. Thank you. I'm Sequoia. I'm Rosie. Nice to meet you. Rosie is terrified of birds. Oh, like all birds? Oh, does that bother you? Like, I brought that with me. Sorry, is this is any problem? <clears throat> I'll get rid of these guys. Dang, just put my business out there right by I'm the very good at that. But seriously, why are they just immediately dropping her phobia? Yeah, so like no outside eating. Uh, you can't do like a picnic? A, no, picnic. what if a seagull swoops down? What has it here? happened to you? It has. Okay. Oh, you don't think so? Well then have a look at this. Kurva. And how about <laughs> this? Pounce, pounce, pounce. Yeah, it's cool, pounce, fucking <laughs> jackpot. I don't know. It does uh, not show you. Show you Disgusting. <laughs> how can you blame the everyman for taking the law back into his own hands? <laughs> I like how it's <laughs> 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 And just ended with dad? Did you just punch the bird? So like here's the thing with birds. You are so hard. Bet you never thought about it like that, huh? Feeling stupid? Is that actually true though? Because people always say that. You know, let's, let's let's do some investigating. Are birds dinosaurs? Ask your average paleontologist who's familiar with the phylogeny of vertebrates, and they will probably tell you that yes, birds, avians, are dinosaurs. By God, she's right! And they even have some audio reference for us here, so let's take a look at that. <laughs> Dear God, she's right! <laughs> Oh, they're dinosaurs! Fuck, they're dinosaurs! Anyways, yeah, they are dinosaurs, so we can give that to her. So you scared of dinosaurs? Factual, are you not? Whoa. Justified, okay? You're the weird one? Okay, you're the one? What do you have, like a non-functioning amygdala? You got no fear instinct, and that's the problem. Hi, I'm Nathan. Hello. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. I'm Sam. I'm Samantha. All of a sudden, these ones are blindfolded. I don't know, they just uh, decided to introduce that element, I guess. What is something that you watch by yourself that's a guilty pleasure that you don't tell anybody? I'm I mean, curious. I watch a lot of anime. <laughs> what? No. Well, you hide it well. Especially under all that Demon Slayer cosplay. Yeah, you know, like Prog Rock, that's a big one for me. I'm kind of like into like Sino Russian, you know, conflict history. Like, it's kind of, I don't know why people just like assume like Shrek's the only thing I'm into, because it's like, <clears throat> like, it's not like, it's not like my main identity. Uh, can we hug? Sure. Okay. Oh, no, he didn't. No, he did not just go there. I feel good getting the hug. Why are we still here?
cover. Mm. She needed a hug, look what you did. Shit. Darn. Why, Nathan? Even the button feels the pain. Why, Nathan? Why? Why did you have to do it with such flair, style, and assassin-like accuracy? Okay, I can't see anything because I don't have my glasses on. So they didn't need to blindfold her. <laughs> She's blind anyway. Bye, Sam. Goodbye. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. All right, everyone, give a round of applause to the button. What a great showing. <laughs> what about contestant number two? That'll be Dating in the Dark, a show where they literally jam people of the opposite sex in a room and flip the light switch. Hey, economical, if nothing else, right? Especially in these times. <laughs> Anyways, show us what you got. Okay, you're really going to love this next one here. Like I said, uh, just basically the whole concept is it's people having dates together in the dark. You know, they can't see each other. That's the gimmick or whatever. Ostensibly, they're supposed to find out if they like each other for who they truly are. And, you know, not just their looks. And plus, let's be honest, it's better this way. You know, naked social interaction. It's icky. This is more modern, you know, more current century. So let's have a look. Inside this secluded house, a most unusual dating experiment is about to take place. Because screw falling in love naturally, you know, that does not lend itself well to a multi-season format. Three single women take your time. and three single men will meet in complete darkness. No, that's not a wallet. Oh, no, that's not a wallet. I'm just very happy to see you. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about its rectangular shape. That's normal. Hey, man, I don't know if you know this, but we can see, you know, where she's touching there. So, unless your junk is on the side of your leg, maybe you should see a doctor. I'm Joey. I'm 31 years old. I'm an engineer. I'm from South Jersey. Being from Jersey, I'm a straight shooter. You never have to guess what I'm thinking. I'm going to tell you what's exactly in my mind all the time. People assume we're always thinking about pizza, the Jersey Devil, or boardwalks, but those are just stereotypes. I'm usually thinking about why Jersey's called the Garden State, because I haven't seen green in this bitch for miles. Anyways, me telling it like it is has nothing to do with the fact that I had to resort to doing this show, so don't say that about me. Sometimes I'm going to hurt your feelings. You can definitely give it back to me. I can take it. Who's willing to take bets that Joey can't take it, huh? You know, I'm willing to go all in that Joey can't even take constructive criticism on his spaghetti bolognese. I think that doing the dating in the dark will show women, like, okay, this guy is not taking any I'm just going to tell him immediately what I'm thinking. So I figure it might have something to do with the fact that, like, on a normal date, the photons, they bounce off me and they go into the retinas of the women I'm dating. So, you know, that's why I'm thinking the dating in the dark thing is going to be huge for me. I just need a woman that's going to be a straight shooter. It's going to be real. Nice. So bubbly. Real nice. Oh my god, this is nice. Is that a thermostat? They got heating? This is fancy schmancy. Look at that. There's not even a single hole in the ceiling there. It's completely dry. Wow. And then, you know, there's like two other guys in here and three girls, but they're not even straight shooters from Jersey or, like, frankly, even the greater Philly area. So, as far as I'm concerned, who cares? What's up, guys? Hey, what's up, what's up man? Hey, my name's Rossi. I'm going to be your host while you're here. Rossi, Rossi. So, just a little breakdown of what's going on. You guys are totally separated from the girls. The only time you get to interact with them is in the dark room. Okay. All right. For this first time. Joey doesn't look too happy about that. All right. He looks like he might have forgot what the premise of the show is. You know, between the last scene and now. <laughs> This is what they see in the dark room. Okay, hold on, let me just confirm. Yeah, okay, wow. I mean, all right, hold on, let me, let me cross Sit on me. Yeah, holy shit, yeah, that's exactly it. Wow, they show exactly what they see. Oh my God, I can't remember voices. Uh, I'm going to almost out. Hello. Joe, you don't have to speak a different language, all right? They can't see you, that's the problem. They're blind, not Spanish. Sub lady? I'm going to say can. Someone reach out. I know, I'm going to say can. Joey, I'm going to say can. Hi, Joey, this is can. When I was in the dark room, when I first met the girls, I made it a point to shake their hand and do the Ray Charles wrist check. Because that to me was a sign to me, like, okay, I can tell at least if they're thin or heavy. Joey, for God's sakes, you can't just, are you for real? It felt Natasha's wrist and I just thought it was plump and I just kind of was turned off for me. Listen, if Joey was smart, he would have gone for the real winning Ray Charles move and gone for the blind dollar bill check. And that's what I would have done. Listen, I don't know what kind of guy you think I am, but we're going halvesies on this dinner bill, okay? And you're paying me in quarters. I want to feel them land one by one. Because we're in the dark, okay? How do I know you're not giving me a Washington and claiming it's a Benjamin, okay? I wasn't born yesterday. So if you don't excuse me, just, I'll take those now. Thank you. Thank you. Just hold on. Just, it takes a minute. I think you're pretty nice. So what do you guys feel if you have, like, a child? Like, what do you feel about, like, what is your feeling about your body? This is the strangest question <laughs> to ask on a date. So yeah, not that Joey needs any help, because clearly his methods are working as intended on their own. But yeah, he does get a little lifeline from his friend in the next segment here, where all the cast members' friends have, like, recorded testimonials about their friends for the other people. So needless to say, it gets uh, fun and interesting. I love Joey. I always have. He's a great guy with a heart of gold that he wears right on his sleeve. He did do this one weird thing back in 98 where he killed a woman on a bridge in Scotland with an FF7 buster sword, but ultimately, he was acquitted because she ended up dropping a rare mithril bangle, and he was willing to share the loot with the authorities. So in my eyes, and more importantly, in the eyes of UK common law, he's technically innocent until officially proven guilty in a crown court. And really, speed it, speed it 11 up. years, that probably will not happen. Love you, bud. See you back in Jersey. We'll catch some beers. Oh, that is not true at all. I saw some silver linings in that video. For the last date of the day, Natasha invited Joey. So when Natasha walks in, I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna get down to it. So now I asked her, Natasha, would you know, just please stand up, so I want to get, you know, your full figure. This is okay. It's okay. My fight or flight reflexes are telling me I don't really have a choice but to feel like it's okay. So. <laughs> It was admittedly awkward, but kind of fun. Oh my god, this guy's really going no holds barred. Look, if you're gonna traumatize the woman, at least save her some time. Okay, get out the old school cartoon belly pincher thing. Get the correct measurement on the first try. Hold still, this will just take a second. I'm gonna run a quick battery of tests on you. Uh, it'll be over before you know it. Oh wow, very healthy, very rich. Yeah, a girl could be proud of these. I'll just slot these back. Unbelievable vitals. I mean, how do you keep your hypothalamus at such a stable temperature? I'm just gonna use a bit of echolocation here. Don't get startled. <coughs> Superb curvature. Yeah, okay, I think a second date's in order. Okay, so how did it go? Ezeket, 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 ezeket
So then for this next part, the guy comes back out and he gives them all like compatibility scores based on God knows what. And it's clearly not even like actually on the TV there. It's just shittily slapped on in post. All right, so this is all based on your pre-interviews, questionnaires you guys filled out before you came, and the opinions of experts. And by experts, I mean experts and not build a sound technician who's right back there in that camera control room behind this dummy wall that doesn't, it doesn't look like it has a door, but that he's in there. It's not him. So when I first saw that me and Natasha were the ones that were compatible, I really almost... Not at the end. Because, you know, she is only... And I would have thought the algorithm could tell that I'm not into fat bitches, okay? And now Joey's got to get a diaper. I'm a straight shooter from Jersey, not a fucking baby. Okay, so I was dating a girl. She was thin, the whole nine was great. And then after about like four or five months, she got real comfortable, and she blew up like a tick. You said that Absolutely. to your girlfriend? Absolutely, I said you blew up like a tick. This guy's suddenly in a, in a nosedive for this date, and it only got worse from there. And as for the big red flag, of course I heard it, you know, waving around in there. I'm not deaf, okay? But... Tell me in the dark it didn't look like deep blue or purplish or something. Who's suspicious of a blue flag? I just thought it was like nationalistic or something. How'd it go, man? It went great. So she's not a floater. She's not, everything you've said about her has been wrong. It has. She does not have a ring really at all. Yeah, I'm wrong. Everything I've said has been wrong. I think she likes me too. So we playing Uno or what, boys? I went down the whole nine, bro. I was like, <laughs> wow. And then back up. She didn't feel objectified by you. No, not at all. That's interesting. <laughs> If I'm 78% compatible with that, then I need to change a lot about who I am. That or 22% is a bigger number than I thought. That conversation was dominated by the fact that he doesn't like fat women. What? I did not know this. I'm completely shocked by this. I thought when he had me stand on that scale at gunpoint, like he was just doing a bit. He used the term, blew up like a tick, half a dozen times. And he originally didn't want to... The wine has been passed. The girlfriend squad is officially in play. Here, you'll need this. It's a standard issue antidepressant helmet. Watch here. Okay. Apparatus. We got the end. That's French for don't stop sucking till your tears become ethanol. He originally didn't want to choose me for the date because he thought I was thicker. What? Are you kidding me? He said that? Yes. That's why he didn't like me, was he thought I was chubby. Exactly. Oh, him. Girl, there are way more reasons to treat you like dirt. Trust me, being fat is the least of your problems. Ah, oh, so insulted. So He's so gross. I am so sorry. So after this turn of events, uh, no one picks Joey and he has to go home alone. Which I know, I like you, the viewer, am shocked at this turn mm. of events. Easily one of the greatest twists in American television. And then at the very end, you know, they do this uh, cute little thing where they finally reveal what everyone looks like to each other and it's good times all around. Now I've learned these things can go way different than I think they're gonna go. Yo, I thought love was only true in fairy tales. Meant for someone else, but not for me, you know what I'm saying? No, but for real, I'm fairly certain I'm in the wrong place. It's been dark in here for like a long time. Do you know where I am? Do you know where we are? <laughs> no, I'm fucking scared. Oh no! It appears we're out of time this week, but don't worry. The next two contestants will make their appearance on the next episode of the yeah, next Day. episode. <laughs> as well, as well, Tommy Francis. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. <laughs> Customer states fuel leak. I'd say it's a fuel leak. Customer states when turning left and rolling the passenger window down, the door opens. And this customer just came in because they can't close this tray on the vehicle they just bought. Um, Let's see if it's open first. Okay, okay. so it's open. It's open. All right, so we'll go in. Because it won't close. And we lock. You can't tell me you've ever seen that before. That's the first time I've tried the key because I always have the unlock and lock. I've never seen that before. This vehicle came in as the radio wasn't working. The technician removed some trim to access the fuse box and noticed that the interior of this vehicle was saturated with curry. Meot. Customer states, AC blown warm. Well, that was easy. Customer states it sounds like a cowbell when he drives over bumps. The customer later found out that his friends pulled a prank on him. <laughs> and 
and this customer's concern is that they have a noise after they installed a new power steering pump. The customer ended up cutting out a piece of the frame because he said there was no room for the power steering lines. Yeah, no you cut in frame. All right, today we have a 19 Chevy Silverado with 40,000 miles on it in for a uh, large EVAP leak. So let's just let's just take a look. Huh. I think they forgot to take that out. Customer states that they were just pulling out of their driveway and their car stopped moving. Yeah, go ahead. You ready? What the f Got it? Yeah. Customer states that they heard a pop while driving and then it started to smoke and then stopped working. The mechanic said the customer declined further diagnosis and said he was going to leave the vehicle at the dealership to get repossessed. Customer came in for a tire repair. Repair? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Customer states the vehicle they just bought has a noise in the front end. Oh yeah. Customer states his ATV shuts off every time he turns right. This customer's car surprisingly drove to the shop and their complaint was that their engine was making a funny noise. The customer told the technician he only puts oil additives in his engine and no engine oil. This vehicle just came in for an oil change, and the customer did not mention anything about these bullet holes. <laughs> and this customer came in to get new brake rotors installed because his were shot. Customer states he just wants his control arm fixed. Customer states the noise under hood. That I, uh, I don't know what to say. This vehicle was towed to this body shop after the driver hit a guardrail. The technician said the driver didn't sustain any serious injuries and it was towed to his body shop so the customer's insurance company could take a look at it. I'm too dumb. I'm too dumb. Tear me. Customer states they replaced some brake lines, but now he can't get a firm brake pedal. <laughs> Customer states their dipstick broke, and now their vehicle won't start. The technician said the dipstick managed to wrap itself around the crankshaft sprocket and dislodged the timing chain, causing the pistons to hit the valves and the timing chain See, guides to break. Customer states the rear axle is broken. Let's get in the air and find out. The technician found that somebody saw it through the rear axle of this company truck. Customer states, console lid looks like my ball sack. Please replace. <sighs> Let's see. Oh. Yeah, I guess it do kind of look like a ball sack. <laughs> Customer states their brakes don't work after they had a family member install new brakes for them. Well, got a high end of here, and for a tire repair, so the yellow chain stuck. Would you want to go to look at the like we should say here, Barbian? The technician told the customer there was no oil on the dipstick, and the customer declined repairs. A customer states car will not start. It was towed in. It's a 2020 Chevy Spark. Let's go see what's wrong with it. Okay, put the key in. 
Hmm. Something ain't right there. Yeah, I wonder why it won't start. There's no gas in it. All right, now that there's some gas in there. Whoa! This vehicle was towed in because it won't start after the customer said he changed the oil himself. The customer ended up filling the engine with a total of 30 quarts of engine oil. Customer states his ATV won't start. This customer just installed a new head gasket on their vehicle and didn't follow the torque sequence properly. This vehicle was brought in as the customer says the speedometer doesn't work. The technician was pretty surprised on the condition of this Ferrari and even noticed some spots on the instrument cluster were spray painted over since there was multiple warning lights on the dash. Of parts here. Yeah, why would you need a fuse? Why would you need a fuse? When this customer installed some accessories on his truck, he never installed a fuse in the circuit. The customer declined repairs and said he was going to get rid of the truck. And this bedazzled Chrysler 300 came in for an airbag recall. This Bentley was towed in to get new batteries installed, and they didn't want the shop to look into why their interior is covered in mold. And this taxi just came in for a recall. The technician noticed the multiple lights on the dash and mold inside of this car, which the customer never mentioned anything about. Oh my god. Dude, oh my god. Oh, f yeah, he left me a chicken sandwich. And this person was driving on the highway when a turtle suddenly struck the windshield. The turtle was still alive and removed from the windshield, then brought to an animal shelter. No radio has a blank screen. Huh. Oh, would you look at that? Customer states radio screen has a white line at the bottom of the screen when the reverse camera is on. You mean your bumper? Anyway, let me try the customer. Customer states they had a tire blow out while driving on the highway. The technician checked the three other tires and they all had 90 PSI in them. Customer states that the tire light is on. Alright, let's check these tires real quick. Oh my f god. Okay, what do you need? Air. You want to put air? Well, how much air? How much hair do you want to put in it? Do you feel like it's flat? You need more than air. Customer states he charged his battery all night, but his car still wouldn't start. This customer came in because he thinks his truck might need new head gaskets and wanted to pay the shop to tear apart the engine to check. The technician later found out that the customer recently tried doing the head gaskets himself, but reused the old head gaskets and put RTV silicone on them.
Customer states they want to check over on their 1960 Volkswagen Beetle after they hired a Volkswagen specialist that installed new wheel bearings. This technician found that it was missing the wheel bearing races, and the wheel bearings weren't even greased, and on the other side, they installed the wheel bearings the wrong way. This vehicle was also towed in as it wouldn't start after they tried adjusting the valves on the engine. <laughs> oh. Customer came in complaining that their speakers aren't working. The head unit turns on, but there's no sound. So I checked the fuse for the amp and it's blown. And as soon as I put a new one in, it blew again. So I come over here but to check the amp. And I think I found your problem, sir. That's a, that's a rotting pumpkin that is leaking, causing your amp to short out. Be wrong. Why is there a pumpkin under your chair? Why? I'm a CLK. Took the floor mat out, took the other floor mat out, so I gotta get under here for a module. Huh? There's a uh, there's flat Twinkies under the floor mat. This vehicle came in for an oil change and the technician working on it noticed this interest in LED light insulation. She said whoever installed it used staples to staple it to the fuel tank, heat shields, and used zip ties to attach the wires to the lower control arm. This customer came in to get their LED strip looked at on their RV because they said the fuse keeps blowing and they added a bigger fuse but that didn't fix the issue. Customer states, put on custom rims, here's noise, don't understand. Customer states, my truck's all over the road. Looks like got a wee bit of front offset. Huh. Let's look under it. Well, those U-bolts ain't happy. That's, uh, oh nice, double block. And one pothole away from ruining your whole life. Dude. How? Why? <laughs> no. So I got this oil change, right? You want to fill the washer fluid up. That is vegetable oil. There's three layers of liquid. All right. Customer states. Car clunks. Under acceleration. Customer wants us to uh, install a uh, four flat uh, trailer wiring. Not exactly sure he'd be able to pull anything. Because the auto is still in the same spot, slides like it's on ice. Time to accelerate. Da a mugrás és tő. When this customer arrived, he parked in front of the shop, and the mechanic thought a vehicle was on fire. The customer said the heat stopped working on his Jeep, so this is what he's been doing for the past couple of weeks. Customer states, blue light on dash. You can't make shit up. This customer came in because they had a turkey and wanted their fog light replaced, and their vehicle checked over for any other damage. And this customer unfortunately drove into the ditch after trying to avoid hitting a squirrel. This is how she drove in. Don't want to take the When your car starts grinding, stop and have a look at it. Customer states, light vibration in the front right. Oh. 2013 Honda Civic were 47,000 miles. The customer brought it in and just wanted a tune-up and oil change as he hasn't changed the engine oil or done any service on his vehicle since he bought it brand new.
it had a little bit of a rattle. My mate reckons Jesus was the last one to service it, but I think it was a pterodactyl or something. Mm, still runs, just rattly. This customer accidentally added washer fluid to both of his headlights. The customer said he mistaken the washer fluid reservoir with the headlights as they have rubber covers on top of them. When washer fluid didn't come out, he tried to add in washer fluid to the second headlight and didn't realize his mistake until he brought the vehicle to the shop. Customer states right brake light won't work. Well, of course it's not gonna work when you're this low on blinker fluid. Gosh, come on, guys. What everyone doesn't know is that when you're low on blinker fluid, it also affects your brake lights. And this vehicle just came in to get new tires installed. The technician noticed multiple engine mounts were broken, which the customer did not mention anything about, and the customer declined all the repairs. So yeah, guys, this customer complained that their car making noise. I drive it. It creeped me out. I'm like, what kind of noise is that? Like every time I put a magnet, there's a tank come out. They're coming out. A customer somehow drove this in and came in for an unrelated issue. This truck came in because the customer needs it to pass an emissions inspection. The technician said this is just a few of the things they found wrong with this truck. Customer states they have an oil leak underneath the driver's side of their car near their back door. <clears throat> this customer's Subaru was towed to the shop for a no-start concern. The technician said his shop refused to work on this car as it was a huge disaster. Customer states their fuel mileage hasn't improved ever since they bought this fuel saver online. And I'm just a messenger, but the mechanic said this customer came in as a paint color of their vehicle doesn't change when they change it in their vehicle settings. This customer brought in their vehicle to get a check over after they said they hit a curb when they were at McDonald's. The technician was surprised to see the strut tower cracked at the spot welds and said he has never seen one this bad before. This customer brought in their vehicle to the shop to get a new exhaust installed, as he says it sounds terrible and drags on the ground. The customer also mentioned he just recently had this exhaust installed by a friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what? A dog was chasing this deer and it jumped straight over a customer's truck and into the back seat of another customer's truck. It made a mess of the interior and then jumped out of the window it came through. <clears throat> this clip was sent in from a viewer who had this happen to the front of the automotive shop. The girl driving fell out when taking a corner because she didn't have her seatbelt on and the door latch on her vehicle was broken. I hope you enjoyed this video of the best clips of 2022. Please consider yeah, leaving a like or subscribing yeah, if you haven't already. already. Thanks for watching.
Nagyon szomorú a gyermekem, hangja uram, mi ez? Lényeg az, hogy megtaláltam önöket. De kit nem talált? A gyerekemtől nem kapok választ üzeneteimre. De milyen üzeneteire? Amit adok a hangpostának, uram. Megmondjam a számot? De most tudja, hogy kivel beszél már, mint hogy a panogi és a mit Igen, van a nekem kijött telefonszámlán, hogy kivel van dolgom, tudja? Kivel? Arról van szó. A Palom GS-ével. Mert én kértem, hogy kit hívok, tudja? Onnan Igen. terült ki a Palom gs -em. Lukács Gyula Zoltán gyermekemről kérnék választ, hogy miért ilyen szomorú a hangja, akár mondom a telefon. Hát én nem tudom sajnos, hogy miért ilyen szomorú a hangja. Igen, nem ilyen szokott lenni, tudja? Hát ezzel kapcsolatban én nem tudok felvilágosítást adni, hogy miért ilyen szomorú De, hogy a hangja nem, a hangja. De miért meg önöket? Miért, ha miért kérte a posta hangot, arra gondolom tud választ adni. Hogy miért kért hangpostát? Igen. Hát mert gondolom szüksége volt hangpostára. Ö, mire jön, barátai sincsenek, uram. Nincsenek barátai. Nincsenek. Zarlói vannak, barátai nincsenek. Én az édesanyja vagyok tulajdonképpen. Én nem igazából nem tudom megmondani, hogy miért kért hangpostát, és utána miért én... szomorú rajta a hangja. Ne, nagyon szomorú rajta hát az a hangja. Hát az ő telefonja nem. Nem a telefonja vagyok, uram, az csokolom. édesanyja. Jó, de csokolom, hogy az ő telefonja nem. A, nem az ő telefonja, hanem itt egy telefonszám meg van adva, ha kell, diktálom a számot. Az ő telefonjáról van szó? Nem. Posta hangot kért egy bizonyos telefonszámra, csak én szoktam kutaszkodni az ő holmia között, tudja? és felhívtam, és azt hiszem, hogy valami rózsika fog rohanni a telefonhoz. Hát erre neki van posta hangja, ahol ott baráta sincs, Németországban dolgozik, csak egy forintja nincs. Erről van szó. Nónaik meg közben vannak ott a tanácsháztéren, ami nekem nem tetszik. Srác is próbálja összelekni. Milyen tanácsháztéren? A, itt Miskolcon. Miskolcon. Nem külföld, Miskolc. Igen. Ha? Tehát, és miben tudok most segíteni? Válasz kérek, válasz kérek, uram, mi a szomorú hangja? Átgondolja, Miskolc van, hogy azért, mi? Mi tudok segíteni? Mivel bízta meg önöket? De hát nem bízott meg minket. Miért kérte a posta hangot, jó? Miért kérte? Kérném a telefonszámot. 314-804. Hát ez rövid. Hát ez az én telefonszámom, én ilyen hívom a figyelmet. De nem az önét kérem, hanem amin hangposta van, azt a számot kérném. Ja, 06 Igen. 20 Igen. 31 Igen. 74 igen. 146. Köszönöm. Szeretném a visszahívni, a választ várok. Pillanat, uram. pillanat. Milyen néven van ez a kártya? Nyulukás Gyula. És akkor miben segíthetek? Miért kérte? Nyulukás Gyula az ő fia? Az ön fia, fia Nyulukás Gyula. Gyermekem. Jó, hát gondolom vásárolt egy kártyát. De és milyen alkalomban hozzá... ilyen hangon, amilyet lead? Ilyen hangon, amilyet lead, uram. Ne szörözzön velem. Nem cirkuszista vagyok én. Ne szörözzön velem. <gül> Cirkuszista. És akkor miben segíthetek? Minek kérte? Milyen alkalomból kérte? Hogy miért? Vásárolt praktikum kártyát vagy kártyát? Igen, 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 igen. Hát azt nem tudom, hogy milyen alkalomból vásárolta. Mikor vásárolta? Ezt sem tudom megmondani, hogy mikor vásárolta. És minek vásárolta? Hogy minek vásárolta? Hát gondolom telefonálni szeretett volna róla. Kinek? 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 Ezt nem tudom megmondani. Nekem semmi válasz nem jön, már három hete hívom, semmi válasz nem jön, öröki vagyok üzenetet. Ja, nem tudom, hogy nem talált esetleg valami szerződést Ki a főnökjük, uram, ki a főnökjük? Az én főnököm, kicsoda? Nem a az, főnököm az, az, az egész szívé, ilyen palomgélyesemnek. Az egész palomgélyesem főnöke? Na, hogy a csúcsot hívjam, tudja? <gül> Ők sem fognak tudni segíteni az ügyben. Hát de, de minek kérte ezt a fanpostát? A barátja sincs. Vagy a Nóna egy doktor volna, ami nem is doktor, Nóna ügyvéd, aki nem is ügyvéd, csak úgy van a örökölt hely munkahelyet. Nem tudom. Mikor kérte a gyermekem? Mit? Ezt a hangpostát. Dátumot kérek. Nem tudom sajnos megmondani, ne haragudjon, hát de miért? nem arról miért? a kártyáról. Mi ez? A, 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 a világ uram, hogy nem tudni, mikor jutottunk oda és mikor jutunk ki. Valami van, nem? Mi? Nem tudok róla sajnos semmit mondani. Hát dátum indul, dátum végződik valahol. Igen. És akkor most miben segítsek önnek? Kinek Ezeket fűződött az el az érdeke, mert az enyémnek nem, hogy hallom a hangját, az én gyerekemnek nem fűződött el az érdeke, hogy hangfosztálja legyen. Hogyha, hát lehet, hogy ki van kapcsolva a telefonja, és akkor bekapcsolva a hangfosztát. Milyen telefonja, mikor velem lakik, uram? Velem lakik. Hát akkor még lehet telefonja, Minek volna? Minek volna? Nem egy olyan, aki a rózsika hangját fogadja, nem egy olyan hangról van szó. 
nem hiszem a kábelt. Én nem tudom ki a rózsika. Ez az, hogy nincs rózsika, anyuka a rózsika, nincs tetszik rózsika. tudni, én is azt hittem, amikor megtaláltam a telefonszámot, hogy rózsika rohan majd ehhez a hangposta rögzítőhöz, tetszik tudni? Hát sajnos. Amikor a telefonszámot megláttam, azt mondtam, a rózsikát hívom, mert bejelentkezik a Lukács Gyula hangpostája, a saját gyerekemé. Ha valami válasz. És talált szertődést hozzá, vagy csak a... Nem, mit uram, csak a hangpostát, egy telefonszámot találtam. Ezt a telefonszámot. Lehetséges, hogy vásárolt egy... Nem, minek vásároltam volna, miért nem engem hív? Ha valami Mi? idáig Németországból elbeszélgetéssel nyugodtan meghívott, bizalommal. Jó, én nyugodtan csak... fizettem, uram. Jó, én ezt értem, semmi Na, probléma nincsen. Na, hogy kikönök, kikönök egyáltalán, minek vannak? Hogy kik vagyunk mi? Igen. Hát a Panongia sem távközlési RT. Minek ez? Mobil szolgáltató. Mobil szolgált. És minek a hangposta önök? Minek a hangposta? Hát, hogyha az amit az üzenet rögzítő az ön telefonján. Most miért nem kapok választ a gyerekemtől? Nincs 20 hát forintjuk? Hát valószínűleg azért, hát nem nekünk nincs 20 forintunk. Tehát igazából az a fő probléma, hogy valószínűleg nem hallgatja meg a hangpostáját, mert külföldön tartózkodik. A, és a magyar tovább, csak veszik az üzenetet. De nem tudja tovább adni, ha ő nem tudja. Meg olyan, hogy beszélgetnek, hogy fejezzem be. Jó. Meg olyan, hogy nem tudja fogadni. Ez is. Ez mi oda? Nem tudom, Jó. hogy van-e olyan, amit esetleg még meg tudunk beszélni. Van uram, hogyha én beszélek, akkor ne szóljon a közbe, hogy fejezzem be, ne csöngessenek, jó? Jó. Ezt nem tudom, hogy mikor mondták. Nekem folyamatosan mondják, meg folyamatosan a gyerekek, amikor beszélek, úgy hagyom az üzet a gyerekemnek. De ki? ki egy csönge? női hang, egy női, egy női hang, hang, aki a megyei rendőrségen izé, a portálfülkérű hölgy, de felismertem a hangját. Addig filóztam, amíg rájöttem, hogy kinek a hangja. Uh -huh. Egy szőke női. Értem. Rövid hajú. A megyei rendőrkapitányságban a női a hangja. Hallgassa meg, mikor bemondja, hogy uh, üzenet tovább nincs. Hát ha nem a párt a gyerekemnek, akkor miért nincs tovább? Nem tud elmondani két mondatot? Nem tudom, sajnos megmondani. Na erre majd törvényes válasz várok. Csak az ott van, hogy rendben főkapitány. Na erre majd törvényes válasz várok. Halló. Igen, vonalban vagyok. Jó. Tehát igazából önnek otthon van üzenetrögzítője? Volt, de van telefonom, ura. Jó, volt, de van de... üzenetrögzítője? Volt. Jó, volt. volt. Akkor tudja, hogy hogy működik. Úgy működik az üzenetrögzítő a rendes vezetékes telefonon, hogyha hazamegy, és észreveszi, hogy van rajta üzenet, akkor lehallgatja. Így van? Igen. A mobiltelefonnál ez úgy működik, ha bekapcsolja a telefonját, akkor kap egy értesítést, hogy van hangüzenete, és le tudja hallgatni. Ha nem Igen. kapcsolja be, magyarul el, ha otthon a vezetékes telefonjához nem ment haza, akkor nem tudta, hogy van rajta üzenet, tehát nem tudott rá választ adni. Nem tudja visszaírni azokat, akik keresték önt. Nálunk ez pont ugyanígy van. Igen, uram, csak két percenként leállít a hölgy, tudja, két percenként. Tehát két percenként leállítja önt, de nem leállítja a hölgy, hanem ennyi az üzenet maximális hozta. Nem a hölgy állítja le két percenként, hanem minek a rendszer. Minek és ez valószínűleg nem a kapitányságon a hölgy. Ez nem a rendőrkapitány hölgy lesz, nem az ő hangja. De az ő hangja, higgyel az, az ő hangja. De az ő hangja. Nem rendőrkapitány hölgy, hanem rendőrkapitányságon portás. Ja, portás. Hát nem tudom, sajnos. Szerintem én ebben az ügyben nem tudok önnek segíteni. És ki tud milyen számot hívjak? Hát szerintem semmilyen számot ne hívjon. Ez ügyben nem tudunk segíteni. A fiával kellene megbeszélni a dolgot. Hát nézd, a három hete hívom semmi választ. Örökké betörölnek, meg nem tudja venni. Nap közben ötször fölveszem a telefon, nem tudja venni. Mi ez? Hát lehetséges, hogy azóta, mivel külföldön van, és mondjuk esetleg, ha ez egy praktikum kártya, akkor az nem, nem használható külföldön. Tehát nem fogja megkapni se az üzeneteket, semmit, tehát nem tudja odaadni. Hát akkor valami újabb, valami más, akkor utána szólok három hét után, akkor csak tudom, hogy merre van, vagy megadom az hagyok egy telefonszámot, hogy itt ne keresse, hanem oda beszéljen, nem? Hát jó, de hát én ezzel nem tudok mit csinálni. Hát jó. Vagy. Aha, szóval ez egy bűnbanda. Majd lebuktassuk, uram. Nem tudom, milyen bűnbanda. Halló? <gül> Baszai, hát ez, amit a csávó... <gül> Majd lebuktatják a bűnbandát. Na várják közben meg már. Ufaszost. Igen, igen, igen. Erre a törvényes választárok. Erza tud elveg válaszolni. Erza tud. Jó, várj, mert ezek már várnak engem. Uh, 
Erre, én kell mutatok valami mást a feldének még. Tetlen mennyiségű Chuck Norris session. Halló! Halló! Vaserény volt? Hogy mondja? Vaserény volt? Ez a játék? Itt van? Itt. A vasedény boltot akarta hívni? Péter, te vagy az? Miki, Miki vagyok. Miki? Tudja a nevem? Péter, nem? Milyen Miki vagyok? A- Péter. Azt mondta, hogy Péter nem? Nem tudom. Nem tudja? Szerintem ne húzzuk a húz, ne húzzunk a húszasra még egy lapot. Én nem tudok most 50 ezeret adni, mert kimondta a nemet kétszer. De nagyon ravasz volt. Nem mennyiségű Chuck Norris session. Halló! Halló! Vaserény volt! De már hátul erőgik. Hogy mondja? Halló! Vaserény volt! Hogy mondja? Vaserény volt! Ez a játék! Itt van! Halló! Halló! Mert ez a fekete fej igen nem volt, aztán a csávó az úgy gondolta, gondolom, hogy, ezért, hogy majd ezzel, ezzel majd átveri.